about to take a look inside a place called Rose Hall Great House. There's Where something a little keep, little unusual keep. about this. They say it's haunted. The story of Rose Hall is quite an interesting one. It has all the elements of a true Hollywood murder mystery. Sex, romance, murder, politics, and religion. It's all there. The real story begins with an 18-year-old beautiful white woman from Haiti comes to Jamaica and begins courting. Born Annie Mary Patterson is the child of an Irish merchant and an English mother. She grows up in the newly formed French colony of Haiti. Under strange circumstances, her parents are killed. She is raised as an orphan in Haiti. She falls under the influence of the dark arts of black magic and voodooism. The young beauty soon finds her way to Jamaica. She meets a man by the name of John Rose Palmer. He is the great nephew of the Honorable John Palmer, who built Rose Hall in 1770 to 1780 and named it in honor of his wife Rosa. So here's where the story gets interesting. Annie marries John Rose Palmer, the innocent teen bride in 1820. Palmer is the master of the plantation at Rose Hall. The teenager now known as Annie Palmer guards the dark secrets of her past. She continues to practice black magic and voodooism, it is said. It's this heathen religion, voodooism, that truly frightens the slaves of Jamaica. As we continue the tour, the story grows deeper and deeper. Within a very short time, Palmer dies. A sudden illness. The slaves of the plantation believe the man is poisoned. Annie says it was a yellow fever. She would remarry again. The slaves know what really happened. Her second husband dies being strangled. Annie blames it on yellow fever again. No doctor, no law enforcement observes the bodies. And then yet, amazingly, she marries a third husband. And within another short time, he is found dead. Each of the husbands were killed or found dead in a different bedroom of the house. Each time Annie orders her slaves, demands them, to take the bodies down to the ocean through a secret passage. It is said today there are three palm trees that mark the grave sites. Knowing that she can get away with this, she doesn't even bother to marry anymore. She simply picks some of her slave men and has affairs with them. Once she grows tired of them, they disappear. We listen with anticipation to every word out of our guide. All this is under the watchful eyes of the many slaves that are under her thumb. They fear her. They dread every day. On the top floor of the house, she has an observation deck that overlooks the plantation and the backyard. For entertainment sometimes, she's ordered certain slaves to be brought down so she could watch them being whipped and beaten. I can still hear the howling and screaming of the terrors that happened at this place. Or is it the rain outside and the wind when you hear the floors creak as we walk up the stairs? We wonder what that noise was. Where are these bedrooms? Where did this happen? We are haunted. We look around us. We continue to look over our shoulders. How does this dreadful story end? While the triumph of good and evil, evil loses out every time. Annie Palmer gets what's coming to her. One of her slave lovers, Deku, outsmarts her. He has seen too many of his brothers killed at her hand. He romances his way somehow to get close to her. And then, in mid-December of 1831, Annie Palmer is found strangled to death in her bed. Not a tear is shed. But this is a turning point for Jamaica. The protest against 
the slave trade and the slave industry and the sugar plantations boils over. Led by the preacher Sam Shepard, protests erupt, slaves do not show up for work. There are 700 plantation homes, great houses on the island of Jamaica. All but 15 are burned and destroyed. Rose Hall survives because of the fear of the white witch reaching out from her grave, the ghost of Annie Palmer.